A little while ago, I made a video called the 10 most broken weapons in Call of Duty history. And you guys seem to really enjoy that video. And a lot of you asked me to make more videos like that one. So I thought today we would expand on that series a little bit and dive into a new topic, the 10 weirdest weapons in Call of Duty history. And what this is going to look at is basically weapons that don't really fit into the game or are just strange for a Call of Duty series. And you'll kind of see what I mean when we dive into it a little bit more. But as far as this series go, first of all, if you enjoy these type of top 10 lists where we look at the past of Call of Duty and want to see more of them, simply hit that like button and it will show me that you want me to continue this. And also you can let me know down in the comments some things or lists that you'd like me to dive into in the future. But I kind of want to show you guys what I'm talking about here. So let's dive in with number 10. And for that, we have to go all the way back to Call of Duty World at War. So the first weapon on this list is interesting because it's going to be the only weapon on this list that is actually a weapon in real life. And this is, of course, the DP-28. Now, this is, of course, stands for the Dinner Plate 28 because, as you can see, the magazine on this weapon is actually a giant circular magazine that goes into the weapon that literally looks like a dinner plate. Now, the crazy part about this is not only was this a weapon in Call of Duty World at War, this was a real weapon that people used during World War II. Now, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this, but it's actually called the Degtaryov machine gun, and it was predominantly used by the Soviet Union during World War II as a defensive weapon, mainly because it was so damn heavy that people didn't often want to move it. So they'd put it on a bipod or put it on a tank and use it in that situation. But I could only imagine how difficult this thing would actually be to aim with a giant dinner plate on the top of it. Now, as you can probably tell by modern day machine guns, in fact, the one that replaced the DP machine gun is actually the RPD that we've seen in many Call of Duties. This design didn't really last for long. This is really the only or at least one of the few guns that use the dinner plate as their magazine. And that's why I put it on the list. Now, speaking of dinner plates, and quite honestly, this one should probably be number two on the list, but I could have a nice segue if I put it at number nine, is the D13 from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This one didn't have a magazine of dinner plates, but rather it shot dinner plates or frisbees or saw blades, whatever you want to call it. And there really has no never been a weapon like this ever in any other situation in any call of duty like this one this was considered a launcher in call of duty black ops 3 and as i mentioned you shot frisbees killer frisbees and they could bounce off walls across the map you could throw them into a room they bounce off walls five times and if you simply hit an enemy once that enemy would be dead now the real name of this weapon is actually the d13 sector and like i said this thing is a one hit kill because the damage that this thing does is 2,000 damage per hit. So not only can you take out one person with this, it can go through several people before it actually stops moving. On top of that, it's a actual pretty decent weapon at taking out streaks, as like I said, it does 2,000 damage per hit. That being said, it flies through the air pretty damn slow, so you really do have to lead your targets. Now after this, the next weapon we have is going to be in Advanced Warfare, and you're going to notice that most of the weapons on this list are in the newer Call of Duties that take place in the future, because those are the ones that really do host the weirdest weapons. Now this one in Advanced Warfare was actually in the game at the very beginning called the NA-45. Now, there really has never been a sniper rifle like this. This is a sniper rifle that shoots explosives. Well, kind of shoots explosive. What happens is the first bullet that comes out of the weapon is kind of like a dart that sticks to whatever you shoot it at. And if you hit someone with it, it deals 30 damage. However, if you shoot the next bullet within the vicinity of the first bullet, it then explodes and deals explosion damage. Now, you can stick this to people and, in fact... If you do hit someone in the head, it does kill them like I have normal headshot from a sniper. But other than that, you have to shoot a second shot near them to deploy that explosive and then it blows up. There has really never been a weapon like this that's dependent on you shooting two bullets in a general area or even a sniper at all that shoots explosives. It's one of the weirdest snipers, if not the weirdest sniper we have ever seen in a Call of Duty game for sure. And not to mention, it also may be one of the worst snipers that we've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. 
Up next, I actually kind of lied at the beginning of the video when I said that there was only one weapon that was a weapon in real life. This next one is two, but it doesn't really work the same as it does in real life. This is in Modern Warfare 3, and it is the XM25. Now, this is a grenade launcher in both real life and in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. However, the way that it operates in Modern Warfare 3 is basically you aim down sights and pick what distance you would actually like the grenades to shoot at. If you pick three meters, this is going to act a little bit more like a shotgun if you pick 50 meters it's going to act a little bit more like a sniper and then you can shoot your grenade at that distance and if it hits someone or close to them it explodes and could potentially kill them now it doesn't do the most damage in the world unless you actually direct impact them but for a grenade launcher it fired at 125 rpm which for a grenade launcher in a call of duty game is incredibly incredibly quickly now the cool thing about this is as i mentioned you could use it as a shotgun and shoot it at three meters or use it as a sniper really there's never really been that diverse of a weapon let alone a grenade launcher ever in a call of duty game before moving back into the future the next weapon we have here is the em1 and technically this was an lmg in call of duty advanced warfare but really this is the first time we ever saw a laser gun in a call of duty game or in this case they called it a direct energy weapon now you didn't have bullets with this or anything like that in fact you didn't even have to reload if the gun never overheated all you had to do is pull the trigger and it literally shot a beam across the map now technically the way that this worked it is it only dealt 18 damage at a 1200 fire rate but it appeared as though it was shooting a laser beam it was a very weird weapon a lot of people thought it was pretty underpowered hard to use properly but it was definitely weird seeing a giant laser go across the entire map when you shot this weapon now just real quick as an honorable mention there were also other direct energy weapons or laser guns in this game as well one of them was a dlc weapon called the ae4 and this one was basically like a fully automatic assault rifle that shot these lasers across the map a direct energy weapon another laser weapon that they brought in as a dlc weapon was the cell 3 shotgun which was previously in zombies but they brought in as almost like a laser shotgun but in my opinion i think the weirdest weapon within advanced warfare is what we have at the halfway point here is the epm3 now this was once again a heavy weapon but it was a semi-automatic heavy weapon weapon that did not shoot direct at energy it did not shoot a laser but rather it actually used a fusion reactor to generate fire hardened bolts of condensed energy you were literally just shooting condensed energy at people. Now, this thing was a semi-automatic LMG, which actually had a fire rate of 1,200 RPM. So that trigger finger that makes your girlfriend so happy can definitely come into play with this weapon. That being said, the downside of this thing is it's actually a projectile weapon, which means you have to actually lead your target a little bit, which actually made it pretty difficult to aim with this thing as the condensed energy oddly traveled slow compared to normal bullets. But to me, this this is the weapon that I always found the weirdest within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now coming in at number four, we've got one that I think is super underrated as a weird weapon. This is the Type 2 from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now this is a weapon that you can either use as a fully automatic energy rifle or split it into two akimbo pistols and shoot from the hip like it's made of pistols. Now the weird part about this is you can just do it on the fly, hold triangle and it either splits into pistols or goes back together into one assault rifle almost as if the thing was made out of Lego. I can't stress that enough that it's literally one weapon you can split into two now after this we are going back to black ops 3 to once again another dlc weapon that is a pump action shotgun with a twist this is of course the banshee that shoots basically a giant slug of energy or a laser at your enemies that travels as a projectile and if it hits your enemy it kills them but that being said it moves rather slow so you do have to lead your target quite a bit but if you hit your target, you're pretty much going to kill your enemy. The other interesting thing about this weapon is there is no max range. You can literally use this thing as a sniper if you want to and try shooting that big ball of energy across the entire map, which is, of course, very different than other shotguns. After this, in my opinion, the weirdest weapon in Black Ops 3 is the DIY 11 Renovator, a.k.a a fully automatic nail gun literally this thing shoots nails now an interesting thing about this weapon is it's always going to be a three bullet 
sorry, not bullet, a three nail kill, no matter what range you're shooting someone at. However, it is a projectile weapon, which once again means you need to lead your target. Another cool thing a lot of people don't know about this weapon is since you're shooting nails instead of bullets, you're shooting subsonic ammunition, which makes it so that you actually don't show up on the enemy's mini maps, which is a pretty cool way of implementing that into the game. But overall, having a nail gun as a weapon in the game this is why this weapon is so high on the list but it doesn't even compete with number one for the number one weirdest weapon we have to go back to infinite warfare to a dlc weapon that was actually originally in call of duty ghost in extinction and then later added to a map a dlc map called unearth but then as a dlc weapon in call of duty infinite warfare called the venom x now this thing is a launcher that basically shoots little balls of acid that will either stick to a wall or bounce off the ground and then explode and deal damage like a grenade. Now, the thing is, is you also reload this weapon with like an alien egg sack. This is by far the weirdest weapon we've ever seen in Call of Duty. We've seen bullets, we've seen nails, we've seen energy weapons, we've seen lasers, and now we are looking at at alien grenades this is by far the weirdest weapon we have ever seen and of course it is in infinite warfare but ladies and gentlemen that is it that is the list of the 10 weirdest weapons in call of duty history like i said before we've had some weird ones in there with different types of bullets with different types of lasers even different types of alien egg cells so let me know if i missed any weapons down in the comments let me know what they are on top of that if there's anything like this that you'd like me to cover in the future you can let me know down in the comments as always if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button it shows me you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it and of course if you're new to the channel make sure you're subscribed make sure you have notifications on we are so damn close to half a million subscribers and thank you guys for being here but as always guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time guys Peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard, and I want.